Hey, thanks for taking the time to watch this video and to learn OneNote. We want as many people as possible to learn how to work effectively with tools like OneNote, Office 365, and Surface. So please refer this series to your friends and colleagues. If you really want to have an impact with your team, the most effective way is to set aside time each week to improve your digital skills. You can set up this process in your organization with our Microsoft 365 coaching programs. Check out the link below to see our instructor facilitated coaching programs and contact us for more information. Are you ready to get productive with OneNote? OneNote is designed for quick and easy content capture and that philosophy extends into tables. To insert a table, you can click on insert from the menu, click on the table tool and draw out the width and height of your table. But often you don't know how big the table is going to be until you start to work with it. So there's a quicker and easier way to create a table in OneNote. Simply type a word and then press the tab key. OneNote will automatically turn what you typed into a table. Type something into the second cell and then press tab again to add another column to your table. Keep doing that until you've defined all of the headings on your table. And once you're ready, press the enter key to insert a new row. And you can keep adding new rows by pressing enter from the last cell of the last row. When you click into a table, the table toolbar appears. Click on it to add more columns or rows, to delete columns and rows, in fact, even the whole table at once. You can also add a background color to individual cells. The table tools in OneNote are simple and easy to use, but not as advanced as tools like Excel and Word. If you wanna share a live Excel spreadsheet that can be edited by multiple contributors in real time, we recommend sharing the Excel file via Teams, SharePoint, or OneDrive. Now that you know how to make quick tables, you're ready to get productive with OneNote.